Hi, and welcome to Google Part 3. Today we're starting the flipped classroom portion of our class, and we are beginning it with Google Part 3 because this is a perfect transition into the completely flipped classroom. So what we want to do is you want to begin at the classroom website. So if you head to the classroom website under Google Part 3, you will notice under presentation that there is a link that says Google Sites. This is the site that you want to begin at. This is where I will introduce you to the big picture of what you will be creating this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on that link and it takes you to a Prezi presentation. So we begin at Prezi and if you click the, the arrow and make it full screen, you can follow along with me. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna begin with um, the fact that we're starting in Google Sites. And I begin with an overview of the Google Classroom site that you're very familiar with, our site. The next place we're going to go is the About Me page. This is the first page you're going to create in your Google site. Your About Me page is really a personal page to let your students and their parents get to know you. It's a place where you post your contact information. It gives you a web presence that really increases the student satisfaction and allows you to be a little bit creative. So the we begin with the About Me page. Your next page that you will be creating is the Resources page. This is very similar to the Resources text box that I use every week, but you will have an entire page devoted to this. Now the method that I'm having you create this Google site is just one method. This is just kind of a quick and dirty method of creating a website. I have mine broken down into content chunks because we um, utilize problem-based learning in our class. And so that makes the most sense for that pedagogy. This is just an overview of a site. Next week, we will begin a different version of a website. So we will look at a few different uh, types of websites. The resources page helps sick students be able to keep caught up on what they need to do. Parents can find out information. It allows you a place where you can publish your open, sustainable, shareable content. It also is a place where you can inspire teachers and students to create their own content. content. So that is the resources page. The next page we're going to go to is the calendar page. Now last week we had the opportunity to be able to create a private personal calendar and a public classroom calendar. This week we're going to work in the classroom calendar to create events that we will share with our students or collaborate with faculty, things that we will integrate into our websites. This is a really cool calendar because it allows us to keep only one calendar up to date and because it's integrated in Google, it will then populate your website. So it's a really nice, easy way to keep your students up to date. And that is the calendar page. The next page we'll be going to is called the homework page. And this is a place that allows students who missed class to know what they missed. And it allows parents to be able to check up on their students and know what homework is due that day. So it's a great resource for parents and students. Our next page is the announcements page. Now this page is great for FAQs, quick announcements. It informs students and parents of last minute changes, tips and tricks on the homework, volunteer opportunities, you can also post things like student of the month or student of the week. You can have tutorials here, uh, field trip reminders, permission slip reminders. So it's just a place where parents can check and there is an RSS feed on it so that the parents can be informed through their email uh, when there's a change to that page. Next, we go to our file cabinet page. Now this is very similar to one of the old fashioned metal file cabinets. I'm not sure how many of you actually still have those. I do not have a file cabinet anymore. I keep everything in digital copy, but it's nice to have a digital file cabinet. It allows you to keep digital copies of all your documents 
And this is one of the five places where I encourage my students to save their key assignments. You are able to download or to upload MP3s, MP4s, PDFs, MOVs, AVIs, Word docs, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoints, etc., etc. Lots and lots of different file formats you can put in your file cabinet. A great resource for you. And finally, the last page we will be creating is the survey quiz test page. Now, this is going to be a really easy page to create because we've already created the survey. So you will go and create this page and then I will teach you how to embed the form into the web page. And it'll take you probably 20 seconds to make that happen. So that's an overview of the website we will be creating today. Um, or this week in class. Now, just a little bit of information for you. Um, this week was scheduled to be our first flipped, totally flipped classroom. And it just so happened to coincide with me going to the emergency room on, on Sunday and getting a diagnosis of uh, pert pertussis which is whooping cough. So I'm not allowed to be around anybody actually for the next week. So it's just perfect that it lands on this day. It gives you an opportunity and me an opportunity to be able to try this flipped classroom in a real world environment. So please contact me if you have any questions. Let me know if there are things that are um, causing you angst. Send me an email. I will have my Google chat open all day long and I can chat with you. Um, I should be able to hear it even if I'm taking a nap. And that is it. I hope you enjoy the class and just follow along with the videos as they come up on your presentation text box. I will put them in order and just follow along and then make it happen in real world. Go along and do the same things that I'm doing in the videos on your own website. So I will walk you through that process. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.